Zahra Shekaryan Asal, a devoted member of the faith since 2018, passionately dedicates herself to spreading the teachings of her religion on Iranian platforms. Not only that, she also channels her artistic talents as a painter for the revered Holy Basilica, producing some of its most awe-inspiring and sacred artworks. However, amidst her dedication to her faith and artistic pursuits, Zahra sheds light on the harsh reality faced by Iranian members of the faith, including her own brother, who has suffered persecution due to his beliefs in this religion. The true location of the Kaaba, the symbol of the Ahmadi covenant, the mistakes committed by the prophets, the hijab, the corruption of the Quran, everything that we believe in, everything that is written in our holy gospel is something that we can be killed over. Even many of the Iranian members of the faith received death threats. They were arrested, beaten, tortured, forced to sign documents all due to their beliefs. Even my own brother, imprisoned, exiled. Why? Because the man he believes to be appointed by God isn't Khamenei. From the arrest of 15 individuals for their belief in the appearance of Imam Mahdi to the imprisonment and exile of Mohammed Reza and the coercion of Hamid Reza Yousafi to sign false documents under duress. Muhammad Amin, imprisoned, adds to the heartbreaking narrative of oppression faced by those who believe in this call. These are just a few of the Iranian members that were treated like this by the Iranian government due to their belief with no crime at all other than believing what is written in the Holy Gospel. By resorting to violence and oppression, Iran has revealed their own insecurity and lack of faith in not having God with them. The teachings found in the Holy Gospel, the goal of the wise, has put the lives of the believers in jeopardy. Not just in Iran, but all over the world, the believers face discrimination and persecution for their beliefs, which first and foremost call to humanity first. Iran believes that they are the only so-called state to be representing Imam al-Mahdi. Yet, they hijacked his call and his name. And now we are here to defend the rights of Imam al-Mahdi and bring back the true Islam, for he has come with a new matter, a new jurisprudence and a new book. <laughs>